Good morning. When was the last time I showed you an early morning Park Avenue? You know what this means, on a run. Sarah and I came to the conclusion that we need to try to make morning runs work for me now that we have James with us and everything. Completely, I don't even know if you'd call it a team effort because Sarah spent a better part of 45 minutes taking care of our baby while simultaneously shoving my shoulder to be like, get up, go run, get up, go run. You need to go run. So thank you, Sarah. And time for me to go home from this run. But I thought I'd show what better place to start this vlog on a 44 degree weather from Central Florida. It's not sunny. Morning lit Park Avenue. Switching out our DVD, we're watching all the Harry Potters today. It is time for Prisoner of Azkaban, which is actually our favorite. Um, we've kind of had like a really relaxed day. I mean, Peter's been working like crazy. First, James napped on me, and I napped too, and now he's been napping on Peter. Um, he's actually in his one of his first like developmental leaps, so I'm curious if he's just growing, growing, growing. Um, but yes, I'm going to fold some laundry and Peter is going to finish up work early to go get his hair cut. Comment below your favorite Harry Potter movie. I actually, I think Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite book. I really like Order of the Phoenix movie, but I do really like Prisoner of Azkaban movie as well. Get ready. I think this is the longest my hair has been since practically high school, maybe freshman year of college. It's all gonna go. Look at this big kid hanging out with me while I cook. I am making one pot pasta tonight. I used to make this when Peter and I both worked downtown Chicago and were like away from our house for 12 hours each day. It's super easy because you just literally throw everything in the pot, let it cook. You don't have to straighten the pasta or anything. Um, but it's like, hold on. So sorry, I had to pick up James, um, but now dinner is done. And if you got a look inside the pot, there was a tomato and a half, a full onion, a full red pepper, um, 32 ounces of vegetable broth. And that's like what the pasta cooks itself in. And so I don't add any extra salt, um, but I did add pepper, garlic, a whole bunch of oregano, a whole bunch of red pepper flakes, and then probably like half a lemon's worth of juice. I'm kind of making it more like Mediterranean. Peter's is gonna have olives in it. I cut them up and have them separate. But then you just cook that to a boil. And then once the pasta is like looking nice and done, you put it down to just a simmer and then it soaks up all of the liquid. So, oh, and also, um, so sorry, I forgot to mention, there is like, I did like a big drizzle of olive oil. I might do a little bit more olive oil once it's on our plate. Um, so yeah, it's a super easy, super yummy pasta. Overall, you could really do whatever veggies you want in it. I've made it with like tomato and basil and made it more like Italian-y. Um, so yeah, I'll link where I got the idea from and then like you can spruce it up however you like. And here's how it looks. It's still really creamy, really juicy, really yummy. Check, check, check it out. I feel like a new human. I wonder if James is even gonna recognize me. Um, yeah, it was bad. And the barber who cut my hair was like, yeah, man, it's been a while. I was like, yeah, I've been busy, it's fine. They didn't put any product in because I might put a baseball hat on later or I might just do it myself, but it feels so fresh. Now I get to go home, we're gonna have some dinner, we're gonna run some errands, maybe go to a resort, maybe go to Target, I don't know. But today, work wasn't, it was, insanely busy it wasn't insanely ridiculous like it was monday through wednesday but fingers crossed tomorrow is the same and i am pumped for this weekend 
work was a crazy week so far. First stop of the night, the P.O. box. Hey oh, gotta send some stuff out. And our second stop of the night, Disney World. So we parked at Hollywood Studios. We're gonna get on the Skyliner and go to a resort. He's so much bigger now than he's ever been in this. <laughs> and it, he feels so good. Uh -huh. Like, I'm not worried about his head right now. Like, I got free hands, I'm not even worried. Wow. He's such a big boy. So you like this more than the... Right now, yeah, just yeah. because like this has more padding, it's covering, it's hugging my back. Yeah. I, this is more secure. There's all these different settings yeah. I have. If I get more like comfortable with the, the ringworm, the wild bird <laughs> then uh i'm sure like the like the convenience of that just like it's so compact and yeah. natural ah! he says let's go it is breezy on here we broke out the blanket for the little baby well it's only breezy on one side right so he switched to this one did you know that the entire walt disney world resort is over 40 square miles and we just put a wait list in the DVC. Peter's birthday is next weekend. We and it is just a wait list, just to see. Just a wait list. Well, we've been trying to stay at Riviera, and then I forgot that, like, oh, that could be a fun thing. So we put in a wait list for a tower studio. It's a little it, soon. If it, yeah, if it works out, it does. If not, we'll still have a fun day, but. It's going to be 29. If, if the wait list goes through, it was really meant to be. Ooh. Yeah, 29. All those people go in the Caribbean beach. And not us. Nobody in line. Thank you. I, we don't give this, we don't come to this resort enough. But it, I mean, it kind of opened right when we were like stopped being able to go places. I don't even think we mentioned that we were coming here tonight. No. We mentioned that we got the wait list for next weekend, but. Hopefully it gets pulled. Yes. But we're going to see if we can get some nice coffee, mm -hmm. see the holiday decorations, yeah. and just walk around outside. It's like, probably like high 60s. Yeah. Really nice. Beautiful. These are nice decorations. They feel very elegant, like very downtown Chicago. -y. But they remind me of like offices in downtown Chicago. Uh-huh. Kind of smells like downtown Chicago. I forgot there's that outside balcony. Let's see if we can get those drinks from the lobby cafe and go to those the outside sections yeah so we have been on the hunt for our size in this amazing sweater look at it so beautiful and then it says disney vacation member on the back we will find it this is actually super cute too really really soft $12.18. Super sweet. All right, I got a double espresso and Sarah got a Mediterranean mint lemonade, non-alcoholic, from Le Petit Cafe. Um, and brownies. And we got some brownies. We are in, so like here's the lobby, but we hung out here before, last mm -hmm. time we were here, I think. Yeah. We're like in this little balcony. It was cold the last time we were here too. It was. I mean, it's not cold tonight, but. And then there's one on the opposite side, but it's nice because like, we're away from everybody. Yeah, and on a balcony. And on a balcony with a, view. with a view. And I do just love hearing families have a blast. Santa Claus 2 is on at the pool. Yeah, I'm gonna get a zoom lens on this and we're gonna watch Santa Claus 2 from up here. And we'll we'll just recite the, the, the script. Here's our brownies. They look so good. I asked if they were good to the cast member and she's like, yeah, a lot of people get them. And he's like, all right. You're not selling me. Yeah, I mean, they sold themselves? Yeah. This Mediterranean mint lemonade, so, so good. The brownies. Brownies changed my life. Were so, so good. I don't think I can ever come back to this resort and not get those brownies. They're like buttery, decadent deliciousness. Divinity. Oh, how can in a winter wonder land? Nice singing. We are walking the waterfront. Across the way is Caribbean Beach. Earlier I Caribbean. said... Caribbean. I don't know. I think... I think it's Caribbean. Either or. <laughs> Earlier I said that the one way on the Skyliner was going to the Caribbean. I was wrong. That's to Pop Century and Art of Animation. This is actually super, super close. But yeah, we're just going to walk this back to the Skyliner to Epcot because the Hollywood Studios line is already closed. So there. we have to walk. Oh, darn. We have to walk the entire boardwalk. Oh. Shoot! We have to enjoy that beautiful 
sight and vistas. Sarah keeps running me off. I'm sorry. I was like trying to keep you in focus, but I was failing at everything. No. Remember when you rode these for 12 hours right before the pandemic? Well, I mean, the pandemic was state so we just, we just were oblivious of it. It was the last thing we did at Disney before it shut down. I remember we even had the conversation because we knew enough about COVID being stateside because of Seattle or Washington State that we were like, should I still do this? Right. How do I do this safely? Right, and we're like, oh, we'll be back in a week. Yeah, the parks are going to close we'll back in two weeks. So us having to take the Skyliner here was a good triple win. Um, we got to do this enjoyable boardwalk, and you guys know Boardwalk Crescent Lake is like our favorite place ever. Um, we tried renewing our annual pass, but the ticket booth was closed because our annual passes are set to expire soon. So that we're going to try tomorrow, mm -hmm. which will be exciting because that'll be year four yeah. of Disney annual passes. Um, it'll be interesting because they, lo they, they removed the Florida resident DVC renewal passes that we got, like that and price range. And we also have Platinum Plus, which they're, also, they're not we'll offering move that. that. But I think we get a like renewal for the resident platinum pricing. Yeah. So I think we actually, I think be, even though we're losing some discounts, but we're losing some offerings, I think we're gonna end up saving some money. Yeah. But um, we are gonna be doubling up payments because with COVID, our payments were set back. Just for, it was just for whole, two months. Yeah. It was um, a whole thing. But, but I didn't realize yeah. that the boardwalk had their Christmas trip, and so it was like. We kept talking about it, and I just thought like we had seen it, we had seen it. And she's like, no, we haven't been here since the Christmas tree has been up. Yeah. So. Christmas tree time. You're small but cute. I like that the garland is also lit up. Yeah. Hi. We're home. We've been snoozing for so long. Oh my goodness. He's doing his arm exercises. Um, Mr. James had his bath and his lotions and his stretches and his little baby massage. He's staring at something. And these were the jammies he was supposed to wear on Halloween, which obviously he made his appearance the day after Halloween. Um, we even tried to put them on him at some point right after he was born and they were so so big like it was comical and now they fit him he has been so chill tonight he slept our whole escapade out and about and then when we got home he nursed and then he fell asleep again we had to wake him up to take his bath um but he's been just super relaxed and now he's in these cozy jammies and they fit him i just I can't believe how big he already is. Guess who had a little accident and had to get a complete <laughs> wardrobe change into a new zero to three month pajama. It's so cute to see him in new clothes because he's been wearing his same newborn stuff. Yeah, he wanted to pull a quick one on us right before bedtime. Zero to three, baby. Fresh dew, fresh new pajamas, but it's late time for the last month of this calendar. I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm more stressed than Sarah about what we're gonna do about this. And it's the very last month of this two year calendar. Kinda of wanna just re buy another one, the exact same kind, because I think they're still they still make this one. I think they have the same messages, but maybe not. I don't know. Alright, today is Thursday, December 3rd. Oh, that's sad. I haven't seen it yet. Catherine Hepburn. Never lose sight of the fact that just being is fun. I dig it. We're at the realm of Gilmore Girls, where it gets like awkward, and the 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 parts of the the series that we haven't seen yet, like post. Hey, that's that's a, yeah. People might not have watched it. We're getting to the later parts of the series <laughs> that we haven't seen. Yeah, and I'm like really excited about like finishing and being able to watch the special. But a lot of people commented saying that. It ruins the series. Yeah, it's not good, but... We'll figure it out. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Tomorrow's Friday. Thank God.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>